All right, today we're going to talk about choline. We have done a video on this before, but we've had a lot more questions and there have, has been more that Dr. Clapper has become aware of and, and learned. So today, if you could speak on that a little bit, give us a kind of an update on your thoughts about choline. Okay, a choline update. Uh, <laughs> choline's a wonderful molecule, a very important. It's kind of a fatty molecule. Uh, I don't know if you remember lecithin granules or whatever. Uh, you mix it into water, it turns into the spongy mass. Uh, a lot of choline in, in lecithin there. Uh, and uh, it's important that it's got this fatty, flexible quality because choline is an absolute essential uh, component of every cell membrane that wraps around every muscle cell, liver cell, heart cell, whatever. There's choline in all the cell membranes. Uh, choline is involved in certain enzymes that help us metabolize fats. Again, it's related to the fat uh, world there. Uh, and as all med students learn in first year of physiology and biochemistry, uh, the brain and, and most nerves uh, use a very important molecule to activate muscles and other nerves called acetylcholine. Well, where do you think choline comes from? Uh, we make some of it in our body. Uh, we recycle the components of less than or whatever, but you do need some in your diet. Uh, you need about 300 milligrams a day of whatever that uh, uh, number might mean to you. I'll tell you how that translates into regular food in a minute. Um, the upshot is most vegans, most people on plant-based diets, uh, you should not have to take choline supplements because it's in the legumes and the greens. The legumes, especially soy products, another nice reason why tofu and tempeh and soy milk should appear in your diet a few times a week without question, without uh, feeling there's anything wrong with them. They're, they're one of the benefits is they are rich in, in choline. So absolutely get those soy products in. But all beans and lentils, uh, those bean chilies and lentil stews and burritos and uh, hummus, uh, they all have lecithin in them. And green vegetables, uh, another reason they have a big helping of kale, or chard, Brussels sprouts, bok choy, asparagus. Um, on a daily basis, eat your greens on a daily basis. They've got choline along with magnesium, a lot of other good things in there. So um, beans and greens uh, and, and, and all that that implies, all the different greens, all the different legumes, et cetera. Uh, and you should be okay. The only folks who might need to take a little extra choline they are pregnant women. If you're carrying a baby there, that baby is making brain nerve tissue and, uh, and really using a lot of choline that he's taken where she is taking right from the mom's stores there. So if the mother is taking a multivitamin, check the label if it's got a, uh, 100 milligrams or 200 milligrams of choline uh, in, the, in your prenatal vitamin, uh, that's probably a good idea. Other than that, uh, most vegan folks should not consume it or should not need to consume additional choline. Uh, for choline to do its work as a methyl donor, don't worry about the chemistry, but uh, adequate vitamin B12 is important. Keep your B12 levels up if you want choline to work uh, at its optimal level there. Uh, and um, sweet potatoes are also a good uh, source of choline, so uh, feel free to treat yourself to that. Uh, there is a substance called betaine uh, that comes from beets and, and is found in sweet potatoes uh, that is kind of a structural cousin to choline. And uh, even though you're not eating a lot of choline directly, the, the sweet potatoes and the legumes will have betaine that, uh, uh, that will kind of cover your choline needs. So you don't have to be too compulsive. I didn't get my 300 milligrams today. Now your body can uh, uh, substitute one for the other there to some degree. So uh, eat your whole foods is what it comes down to. Eat those greens, eat those yellows. Eat, you know, we talk about greens and beans, greens and beans, you know, kind of a shorthand for uh, how a whole food plant-based diet can nourish you. But you certainly could probably survive quite well on just beans and greens. But in this particular case, beans and greens applied to choline, thumbs up, that's where the choline is in those legumes and greens. So uh, eat plenty of them and enjoy them. They're doing good things for your brain and all the other cells in your body. Perfect. That's always good to hear that you're getting what you need. So, and don't necessarily have to take that, uh, that supplement. So thank you for that update. And if we get more questions, we'll do another video. So thank <laughs> you so much, Dr. Clapper. Thanks everyone for watching. We'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye. Hi everyone. Dr. Michael Clapper here announcing our new format for our Q and A with Dr. K. Andy Hagen will be asking me one question that's been sent in by our viewers. So if you want to see if your question is getting answered, do join us for our Q&A with Dr. K right here. Hope to see you then.